my name is Thérèse Blanchet. Uh, I'm an anthropologist from uh, originally from Quebec, and uh, I have uh, I came to do research in Bangladesh uh, in 1978. So this is almost 34 years. Um, I worked on several topics. Uh, my first book was on uh, childbirth practices, and then I've worked for about 10 years on uh, female cross-border labor migration, uh, Bangladeshi women who worked abroad. I worked on many other issues as well in all these years. Um, about 15 years ago, uh, we, um, we formed, a, we, we uh, were uh, a group of researchers. Uh, we call ourselves Drishti Research Center. And we've been carrying out research for about, as I said, 15 years. Um, two years ago, um, I was approached by um, Gramin Veolia Water to um, uh, assist in their uh, project uh, in uh, Gualmari, uh, a, a project uh, that uh, supplied uh, safe water in an area that uh, had uh, uh, arsenic, uh, where drink drinking water was contaminated with arsenic. And um, the uh, water was uh, available at tap points. Uh, women had to come in and fetch the water. But the idea of uh, uh, measuring water and, and selling water was uh, foreign to uh, the village women. And so there were problems in, 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 in the uh, getting them to uh, uh, buy this water, and um, we, I accepted this uh, this uh, challenge, but I demanded that first uh, we would we should have about uh, six or seven months to uh, do a research of this area, what uh, how people understood water, how they how they understood the uh, uh, um, arsenic contamination and the the the, the health problems that it caused. And so uh, it was a real, uh, I had not worked before on uh, on this particular problem, although it was very, very present in Bangladesh. Uh, but we uh, uh, found in this research uh, a number of people who were in quite advanced stage of arsenicosis, but uh, sometimes they ignored it, or they they kept this uh, this uh, knowledge secret. They didn't want to uh, the the neighborhood to know, and so uh, it meant that the, the damages caused by arsenic. Uh, many people were were not aware of it. Although some people next door may be uh, may be suffering cancer and 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 may be dying from this uh, uh, um, contamination, and so. Um, we uh, realized then how important it was to, to in order to get people to uh, appreciate the importance of drinking safe water, how important it was to talk, uh, to talk health, and 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 uh, instead of having a classical uh, kind of a, uh, marketing approach uh, uh, that didn't work because people were were. Uh, not uh, interested in buying water. We're not uh, didn't think that water was something that uh, it was given by God, and it's not something that uh, uh, should be purchased for money. Uh, I must say first that before I I joined this, I, I got associated with this project. I myself I had not worked for a company before, and and I I had to be convinced of the. Um, uh, the cause and I mean the the ethics of this sale and and the the one one thing that we we check was that the price of the wa the water uh, was it low enough so that I mean everybody or nearly everybody could afford to buy it. Once I got assured that this price was low enough that nearly everybody could could buy it, including the poor. Um, then I was interested to put all my effort in, into that, that project. So um, uh, we worked like this. Uh, first we did the research, and then the second uh, phase of my association with Gramin Veolia has been to uh, uh, 
build arguments to convince people that in order to protect their health, uh, they should uh, drink the uh, Gramin Veolia water. Hmm. Continue.